this is a full breakdown of Kendrick Lamar and Caesar interview with Biza. Now the name of the article is Kendrick Lamar in a drive. Now imagine Kendrick Lamar and Caesar sitting side by side. The interview starts like this with Caesar. We shot a movie last night. I've never shot a movie before, so I was freaking out. It's a lot of being scared to be myself. I'm either gonna pretend it's never happened or not showed up to the premiere. I met Kat Williams on set. He told me I was mentally ill. Like, as a compliment, it was like, sir, I believe you might have some mental. I was like, illness? And he was like, yes. He said, oh, welcome. I want to ask you about your mental health. Do you feel like you suffer from mental illness or experiences ever? Or do you just feel like you're in the multitude of feelings and you're not putting a label on it? Kendrick Lamar, he said, I grew up with that term. I was hearing it when I was five, six years old. Caesar, so you identify with it, but not as it. Kendrick Lamar, my old thing is, it's all experience. I say some shit on a record and identify with a moment and then I don't identify with it anymore. That just grows for me. All that shit is subjective. Caesar, is giving self therapy, Kendrick Lamar. I think he's going back to my inner child, right? I was trying to understand myself, trying to find people I could relate to, how to identify myself outside myself. It sounds crazy to a lot of people. I really can see myself out of my body. When I do that, I have no judgment towards it. It's too many eyes on me not to remove myself. That shit is scary to anybody else. Caesar, are you scared? Kendrick Lamar, no, because I've learned that I can't identify with my performance on stage. I can't hold my whole identity to that person who is on stage. Because if I did, that means I will judge every movement every time I F up or lyric. Every time I'm off key, it's too much to deal with. So I have to distance between the performer and the person I close my eyes and look at the ceiling weight. I have to develop that tough skin at like 16, 17 years old, not knowing it was not only for my career, but for myself. It's mentally ill for sure. Caesar, it's very honest. Speaking of honesty and ego, have you done iOS car? Can you claim more? I haven't done it. Caesar, what? I wonder how you're arriving at all of these conclusions. I want to talk to you about your spiritual practices. How many spiritual practices contribute to your day to day? Can you claim more? All day, every day. Caesar, all day is ceremony? Can you claim more? Ain't no BS. Ain't no cliche. But I literally talk to God. Like, it's to a point where I will be starting to think. I'm going crazy, but then he has to remind me, no, this is really me. My early morning practice is that I have to run. When I started running, that's where I started to understand. There was this threshold of pain in the spirituality for me. I remember my shins was aching and I was like, I got one mile to go. Then I get whispers and downloads and start talking about shit that I want to know about. And next thing, I'm three miles in, four miles in, I wake up and do that shit every day. Caesar, loss of self, you have to break yourself. Can you claim out? I have to. Caesar, I'm grateful for the God T. Sidebar, what do you feel like your top three contributing factors to self transformation in the last few years have been? Can you claim out? The power of honesty and being honest with myself. Perspective about the person sitting across from me and learning the vulnerability is not a weakness. That last one probably being one I'm still developing. Caesar, which one is the hardest? Can you claim out the last one? Caesar, why? Can you claim out? We talk about our childhood. I hate going back to that. It traumatizing. My pops, it was tough. It was militant. As far as every day you are expected to go to work, take care of the family, get back up to do it all over again. Being a man type shit, right? And he never showed no weakness. He never showed any emotions that could garner a one up from the person sitting across from him. And I learned to experience that, not knowing I had them same traits, right? Kendrick Lamar continues, but for what I do, there is certainly no growth without vulnerability. If 
I understood the power of vulnerability earlier, I could have more depth and more reach to the guys that was around me. You know our parents, they never had this outlet to express themselves the way they wanted to. I've always looked at us as somewhat of a beacon of hope for them. I always wanted to know how does your mom feel about your self-expression? Caesar, you know, my mom grew up dark skin in the 50s. My mom integrated schools in St. Louis. She made herself smaller to be polite and non-problematic Audrey. And growing up in the Brahms where we were one of the few black families, she kind of passed that to me. She developed this delightful energy that she really truly does have. But also, I feel like deep down, she really needs to be beat some as she will feel better. When she told me about how she spends so much time monitoring herself, people be like, oh yeah, we are our ancestors widest dream. When you are talking about it's time to vote. Kendrick Lamar, you gave her that, Caesar, and she gave it to me. When was the last time you cried? When was the first time you cried, Kendrick Lamar? I would say the last time I cried was probably on Mr. Morale, 2020's Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, on the Mother I Sober record. That shit was deep for me. Caesar, would you say you've done more crying recently than you have in your life? Kendrick Lamar, now? Yeah, I have too. Caesar, it's cleansing. Kendrick Lamar, it might be easier for you though. Caesar, I cry all the time. I'm gonna cry right now because this is just beautiful. Wait, you did not tell me. When was the first time that you allowed it to happen? Kendrick Lamar, the first time I allowed it to happen is documented actually on stage in 2011 when Dre and Snoop and the whole West Coast was out and it was like this is a touch we were handing off. Dre passed me the touch and a burst of energy just came out and I had to let it flow. My tears is all on the internet and now I look back and love the moment. I love that that happened because it showed me in real time expressing myself and seeing all the work I put forth actually come to life in that moment. Caesar, that was emotional and pretty. What do you want for yourself now? What's your driving force? Do you feel like you've done it all? Do you feel like now it's all for the plot? Is the plot you? Is the father self discovery the plot? Is it domination? Kendrick Lamar, it's funny. I was asking myself that this morning. I get fulfilled sharing my experiences with the youth and allowing them to hear them stories and hear these experiences and catch up to them. So to actually answer your question, is communication just with people in general? And I feel my work is music. It's just the start. I don't think it's my end goal. I know it's not my end goal. Music is just a vessel to get me there. Caesar, do you have an idea of what you are supposed to do? Kendrick Lamar, I don't. I'm curious. And that's what keeps me energized. Caesar, do you even have a desire specifically of what I should be? Or are you going to let God shape it for you? Kendrick Lamar, I'm going to let God shape it. I love the mystery of it. I have to have it. I have to, the shades of it all, you know what I'm saying, Caesar, you are so teachable, Kendrick Lamar laughing, shut up, Caesar, you are, that's what I feel like I suffer from, I'm not teachable for real, that's my problem because I've always been like either in my fear or do some shit, I have a low pain tolerance but a high competition tolerance, I can't explain it, what is it that you want the most if you want for anything? Kendrick Lamar, information, I want it all, I want the resources, I want to meet people smarter than me, I want to talk to them, I just want them to show me things, I just want to be fulfilled with whatever this world has to offer, that shit asks me up information, I'm a motherfucking nerd for it, you is too, Caesar, I am, Kendrick Lamar, this shit is a mystery, and I love it as a mystery, I love it, I love that the answers could be wrong or right, Caesar, you have such father time energy. It's very universal that vibe. Actually, it's more universal sensei. It's almost gender ambiguous. It's father and mother because you actually seem quite in tune with your feminine energy. Do you consider yourself in touch with your feminine side? Kendrick Lamar, I have to balance both. At first, all I knew was the masculinity and I always kept that wall up because of my pops. But the more I dive deeper into my music and the more expressive I get with myself, that is the feminine energy right there. That's not the bravado that I grew up seeing all the time. This is who I am, the soft-spoken me, and I have to own it. 
this is where my superpower lies because if my job is to communicate i need to be able to communicate with everybody i need to be able to sit in front of caesar and to talk to you in a way where you feel comfortable in a way where it feels authentic for me to you you to me and i can't do that with a wall up i can't do that with my full masculinity kendrick lamar okay now let me see what's going on with you man what I've always loved about you and respected about you is your ability to express yourself. How have you been able to navigate that through your music? Do you trend it coming out through certain lyric? Caesar, I wrote a song last summer that was too honest and I could not put it out. I just be telling on myself so crazy and I can't stop. It's like I have to tell myself so I'm not bored because otherwise I'm just like what's the point? When I'm in the studio it's us too much sometimes. Maybe that's why I tap in and pretend to be other people. That's why I, I'm pretending to be you or pretending to be Frack Ocean or pretending to be Future because it's easy. It's easier to be me through the eyes than it is to sit with some of the really harsh things that I say. Since I continue, but when I heard Mr. Morale, I was like, I'm not digging deep enough in my heart. I'm running from so many things. So now I'm in my bag and I'm like, okay. I'm codependent. I'm a people pleaser. I'm afraid of all these things. I'm so fucking selfish. All these things I tell myself because I have to to stripe the ego from the bottom. I have to because I'm bored to death with the iteration of myself. Why am I trying to be human so bad? Because it's all so damn bad. But this is the job. No matter how many spirits you talk or any of that, it just does not matter. You have to be here. You are going to be in the ether eventually. It's just not now. Kendrick Lamar, that's what I'm talking about. I appreciate you. Caesar, I am laughing at myself for crying. But thank you, I appreciate you too. Kendrick Lamar, I'm proud of you. I'm not only proud of your artistry, I'm proud of you in the sense of caring and respecting who you are and able to go through emotions and aware of it and say, okay, this is me. I can either grow from it or I can put it away and come back to it. That's what I get from you. I think you got a good sense of it. Just knocking out the fear of it all. Caesar, I gotta do what you're doing. Your philosophy of when it gets too hot, that's when you gotta go. Like closer, closer through it. All the way through until your shins is burning. I wanna take it there. There you go guys, that's the breakdown of the interview between Caesar and Kendrick Lamar for Beza. Now there is a part in the interview where Kendrick Lamar talked about Not Like Us but that is in another video. Click the link above to watch the video on my channel and thanks for watching. Please subscribe.